This is Kent Mulget with Kelowna Now, joined by Vinay Tolia, the CEO of Flower Corporation that already has a huge marijuana production facility that's licensed here uh, on the uh, doorstep of Lake Country. And today we hear about a partnership with uh, this Hawthorne company from the States. Tell us about it and what it means. So it's the first of its kind in that uh, it's the first 50,000 square, it's the first R&D facility in North America dedicated to uh, researching the growing of cannabis. So really about uh, how to optimize and how to optimize efficiency when it comes to growing specific genetic strains and really maximizing yields to help uh, producers like ourselves as well as smaller farmers. So this company that you're partnering with, uh, Hawthorne, this is a huge company. This is the Miracle Grow people. Yes. They had to go to Canada because apparently they can't do this kind of research south of the border. They looked across the whole country and decided you guys were the ones to partner with. I guess that's a that has to be something that uh, you can be proud of. Absolutely, it's a it's a big validation point for our team and our co and our founder Tom Flo. Uh, really, his expertise and the and the team are is really second to none in the industry. And they and they. Their expertise is more than just growing. It's it's the design, cultivation, uh, the design, engineering, and construction pieces that make this so special. Our core business sells billions of dollars worth of tomato food and other things um, that we would never dream of launching into the market without testing them on the actual plant they're intended for. Um, since we can't do that in the U.S., we look to Canada, and when you look around up in Canada, um, there's a lot of LPs. There's a lot of people getting a lot of money. There aren't a lot of folks doing the quality of work up here that flower is. As we're about to step into this era of legalized marijuana, it, we are stepping into uncertainty. And I know a lot of big companies don't like uncertainty. Sure. How are you feeling about where the industry or how it's positioned as we head into this sort of unknown? I think there's going to be a lot of chaos come next week as far as people who made promises, they, they're they're not going to be able to del deliver on the product they promised to the provinces. Um, I think there, there are a lot of folks who underestimated just how hard this plant is to grow. There is, this plant is very sensitive and to grow it well is incredibly difficult. So I think you're going to see a shakeout. I think you're going to see a shortage of product. But from our point of view, this is all exciting. This is, we're in the early innings of, you know, a revolution really. And People are going to want quality, consistent product, and, right. and that's what we feel we can deliver better than anyone. But in, investors and people with companies involved need to brace themselves for some turbulence at the beginning. I, I wouldn't say they brace themselves for uncertainty because yeah. I, I personally feel that a lot of the, a lot of the licensed producers out there um, just haven't been able to grow efficiently yet and they're not going to learn in the next six months. So I think you're going to see a lot of disappointed investors when, when people really miss their numbers. Terrific. Thanks for your time. Ben Atolia so from Flower Corporation, and thank you for watching Kelowna Now.